Hello, my name is Daniel and welcome to this short video tutorial on how to design panel claw roof mount systems using the PV Complete platform. PV Complete has two software products that work together to form a complete soil design platform. The first product is called PV Sketch. It's a light and simple web-based design tool that allows you to figure out exactly how many solar panels fit on the roof of your building and how much energy that solar project will provide. But a key uh, difference that we have with other solar proposal design tools is that we have an integration with panel claw that allows you to specify panel claw racking right within our design tool. Uh, and the best of all, it's free if you're only doing up to five projects per month. Um, you can use it forever for free, not a free trial, just forever for free. Our second product that we make is called PVCAD. It's the first and only AutoCAD for solar. Basically, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's AutoCAD with solar functionality built in on top of the basic AutoCAD functionality. And the great thing there is that PV Sketch and PVCAD work together, so I'll show you in a second how your project information, including all the panel call information, will port from the PV Sketch project proposal into the PVCAD design, which is more aimed at engineers who are doing uh, final uh, complete plan sets for permitting and construction. So let me show you how this will work uh, for a panel call system in particular. I'm just going to go to pvsketch.com, and you can see here there's a big blue button that says get started for free. If you, if you do that, you can create a free account and get started. If you already have an account, you'll just click here on the login button, and it'll open up your account. And the first thing that's going to come up is a little window that asks you for the project address and uh, whether it's a commercial or residential project. So in this case, I'm going to say it's a commercial project. I'm going to type in my project address and click start a new project. And then I'm going to find the building where I want to deploy my uh, panel cloud rooftop system. And I'm going to go, you see here on the left, it tells you, you know, draw a line to, to define the roof boundary. So I'm going to define the roof boundary using my line tool. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to define all the obstructions on the roof that are uh, both obstructing placement of solar panels as well as casting shade onto the roof where I want to avoid placing the solar panels in the shade. And I'm going to do this kind of on fast speed so that we're not sitting here forever watching me draw this building. And you see here that you can uh, both draw obstructions, but you can also copy and paste obstructions. And then once you're done drawing everything, you'll see all the obstructions are going to appear on the left-hand sidebar under the Site tab. And you can click on each obstruction in the, in the list and assign a height to the obstruction, and that will determine the height of the, of the shadow that that obstruction casts onto the roof. The shadow is not visible uh, on the map, but, it, but it's there. You'll see it'll appear when we do the roof layout. So I'm just going to go assign heights to all my obstructions, and then the next thing I'm going to do is click on the roof itself, which is also in the list. I can have multiple roofs uh, if I need to, but here we have one roof. I click on it, and I can assign here a slope if I want to, although here it's a flat roof. I can assign the height of the roof. I can also s assign a, a setback where you want to keep a certain distance from the edge of the roof on all sides. And once I've, de I've defined that, um, I can go in and pick my solar module that I want to use from our equipment database. And then also I can pick panel claw as my mounting system from our system database of, of uh, available mounting systems. And then you'll see within panel claw we have the different Polar Bear 3 options available, uh, two for um, 10 degree tilt and two for five degree tilt. And then I can pick my inverter from the equipment database as well. And when I'm done with that, I hit the big blue generate design button and we'll see that it'll place the modules on the roof uh, respecting the geometry of the panel claw polar bear system that I chose. And then you'll see here at the bottom it will list both the annual energy production and the number of kilowatts that fit on the roof and how many modules fit on the roof. We have another cool option here which is called versioning. So if you want to compare and contrast maybe the difference between a 10 degree tilt and a 5 degree tilt panel claw system, you can create a new version here under this version uh, drop down. We'll call it 5 degree panel claw, and we'll save the new version. And what you'll see is we can regenerate the design with the new version and see how many kilowatts and how many kilowatt hours I make using the 5 degree panel claw mounting system. And then what's cool is um, I can edit my layout by hand if I want to. to if I don't have to use just the automatically generated layout, I can delete modules. I can move modules around on the, on the roof um, to make it suit the way I want it to look. And then I'm just showing you that you can now go back between the two versions and compare them and see which version uh, you like more. And then when you find one that you like more, 
we have the option of uh, generating a little sales proposal report and here you can see you normally you can load your own logo it says PD complete that you can load up your own logo and your own contact information on this title page and it gives you a graph that shows the energy production uh, month by month for that system so you can show it to your customer it shows the image of the system and then just an overview of uh, all the modules and equipment that you use to design the system including the panel clock um, a couple of things we have uh, available uh, on top of the sales report is you can download just the raw image if you just want this image to include in your own report we can download uh, hourly energy values in a CSV file if you want to get hour by hour data because you're comparing time of use rates you can paste that into for example an energy tool base or a software like that and then finally we have the ability to export to our PDCAD software uh, from this menu so when you click on that what you get is this uh, link that when you copy the link it goes onto your clipboard and then you can either uh, you know open PVCAD or if you know someone that has PVCAD maybe it's your engineer or someone that you use to do engineering for you you can email them this link and say hey I designed this project in PV Sketch. here's a link to it you know open PVCAD and do me a final design so now I'm gonna open AutoCAD well PVCAD really which looks exactly like AutoCAD it has all the functionality of AutoCAD in this top ribbon but we've also added our own PVCAD ribbon on top of the regular AutoCAD functionality and the first thing you'll see here is import from PV Sketch. So I'll click on that and I'll paste in that link that I just generated on PV Sketch. And you'll see the wheels will spin and it'll automatically draw the system that I drew in PV Sketch. It'll draw it for me in AutoCAD. So I don't have to redraw any of the any of the roof uh, information on the AutoCAD side. Um, and what's cool here is all the layers come through as proper layers. So all the shade is in the shade layer, the obstructions are on the obstruction layer, the roofs in the roof layer. And then all the information about the customer also comes in. So if you put in the customer's address and their name and the number of modules, all this information comes in and is automatically populated in the title block. So just avoids a lot of uh, extra copying, pasting, and duplicate work between your sales team and your AutoCAD team. Uh, what I'm going to show you now is that you can create a second version in PVCAD as well. So if your AutoCAD designer thinks that maybe they can come up with a better design than the sales person could come up with, you know that probably never happens but they can do that they create a new version uh, maybe they want to use five degrees but they want to use a not quite a, as tight a row spacing um, they could change the module or or whatever they want changes they want to make and then they can redo the layout in pvcad easily and again it's going to respect the geometry of the penicla racking the racking system that we chose once you're done that, you can compare all, all the versions that have been made between Sketch and CAD here side by side in the summary tab and settle on the version that you want to go to for your final project. And then once you're happy with that, the last thing we can do is go to this mechanical layout tab and click insert manufacturer's blocks. And what this will do is it'll, it'll actually take the panel clause blocks from their block library and, and replace the generic kind of layout block with panel clause actual block for that particular panel clause system on your drawing. So now your your final AutoCAD drawing, it's a true DWG file. It's it's not just like a DXF. It's real it's a real AutoCAD drawing. It has all the layers intact and it has uh, panel clause blocks in it as well. And then from here we have a lot of functionality inside of PVCAD that you can find out if you go to our website and read more about it, including the ability to uh, generate single line drawings do energy simulation estimates and reports right from within of AutoCAD and also uh, export the bill of materials uh, for your project right here from within AutoCAD. And so that includes our demo for how to design with PanelClaw inside of the PV Complete platform. I appreciate you taking the time to check out our software. If you have more questions, pvcomplete.com is our website. It's the best place to get started.